The Lake Turkana Wind Power Project is situated in Marsabit County, Loyangalani District, at the southern tip of the Lake Turkana in Sarima. The project has a footprint of 40,000 acres and when completed will inject 310 megawatts into the national grid. Generating this power will be 365 Vestas V52 wind turbines. You are dreamers, it cannot work in Africa. We started this project in 2005. It was actually the first um, memorandum of understanding that was signed among what we commonly refer to as the founding fathers of this project. What brought us there was pure passion. This will be the largest wind power project in Africa. When completed, this will be generating 18% of the country's installed power providing power to over one million households. It also puts Kenya on the map in terms of being a hub for renewable energy. And so wind power, in addition to geothermal energy, now is a major part of the national grid in Kenya. Construction of key components of this project are already underway. The project consists of uh, 365 wind turbines, uh, Festus made V52, uh, rotor diameter 52 meters, 850 kilowatts. The construction started in 2014 and is estimated to be completed in June 2017. Five large contractors, Vestas for the wind turbines, Siemens for the collection grid and the substation. We have Seco for the permanent accommodation. We have Civicon for the on and off-site roads and we have RXPE for the Statcom connecting the substation to the national grid. I'm the project manager for Bolloré to run the Lake Turkana Wind Project uh, logistics part. A vessel comes to Mombasa with approximately 30 wind, complete, uh, wind turbines, complete sets. A complete turbine is made of one nacelle, a set of three blades and the nested towers, which means that two, two towers are within each other. The second part of the implementation has been uh, human resource. We had to work a lot on finding the right people for the management of the project. The key part of this project are our, our drivers, which are making the job actually. So it has been a very long process to identify them, recruit them and train them. The landscape continues to change as the turbines are assembled and erected, almost at the pace of one a day. Wind turbine assembly starts with the construction of specially designed foundations. Once the foundations are complete, the tower assembly begins, followed by the nacelle and finally the unit holding the blades is mounted. Weather and wind speeds can affect the pace at which the assembly of the turbines is done. To ensure that the safety regulations are followed, the teams are constantly on the lookout for changing wind speeds. The experienced teams can work both day and night. The offsite roads are about 206 kilometers. We are also doing the hard stand. The hard stand area is where the erection of the turbines take place. It's where the, you have your cranes. It's, where it's a storage area. Yes, it's also designed and it's tied to the road. Transformation of lives as the access to and from the region has been vastly improved, sparring on growth associated with movement of people and goods to markets. My responsibility was to ensure that the equal and fair distribution of employment between the communities around the project area. Basically, if you look around the project area, the people have been employed and the money that they earn Normally, it has really changed the lives of the people around the area. As many people have got money, you can buy themselves livestock, it changed their lifestyle. It has brought the different communities together, the Rendile, the Sampurus, the Molos, uh, and the Trucanas together. Today, we are working together as a team. We are one community. We are really excited today to have handed over the 
Buri Aramia Health Facility. Um, essentially, the work entailed here um, to upgrade the facility. We provided solar power as well as put in shelving and put in a solar fridge through its Winds of Change Foundation. We've partnered with some of our contractors and in this case with Vestas. Some of the other plans are around schools um, because education and health are key pillars in terms of where we see our development partnership with the community going. And the last is water, supporting communities, the community around the Lysamis constituency in accessing water. Ni mtu samani nilizalewa Sarema kutoka utoto mpaka sasa. Alikuwa chida yetu ni kitu ya kwanza ni kiu ya maji. Naona saa hii tunaona raha. Watoto hapa karibu ndio anakunywa maji. Sio langine ndio hii ametuwekwa na hii kampuni hata kuchunga maji ile maji tunakunywa hapa. The biggest impact will be felt in the area where we are producing that power. It will change people's lives. It will spin off an economy. To me, the biggest satisfaction at the end of the day, that we know we will have been part of that transformation, because that area will transform for the better.